welcome back. I know it's been a while, multiple reasons. For one, I've been testing some recipes out. Uh, like I said, said in the previous video, we're changing our, our food style here um, to healthier options. So that said, I'm testing stuff out before I make a video with it because, well, I don't want y'all, I don't want to be anybody's guinea pig myself other than my own. Yeah. So, in any event, um, what are we doing today? Doing a lamb. You know, we went grocery shopping the other day. And I was utterly shocked at the level of price increase on everything. Eggs went from $1.20 a dozen to 3 bucks. Um, pork skyrocketed too, but lamb didn't, which means the lamb is the same price as the pork, and I love lamb. But I always figured, well, if I can get pork for the same price or chicken for the same price, why bother? Well, now it's not an issue anymore. So, yeah. So let me show you what I do with lamb. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, uh, a little compound butter. Um, right here I have a stick of butter that I cubed up and softened. And from that, we're just going to add some herbs and some garlic. And there we go. But it has some fresh parsley and some fresh basil sitting. So we'll just chop those up nice. I'm not going to do the, any of the Cajun stuff with this. This is going to be strictly more of a, a really simple recipe that's really delicious. But it does harken back to some, uh, said some Mediterranean twist there. And we're going to take some garlic. And I'm going to cut that up kind of nice and small. I'm going to put the dry herbs in a mortar and pestle along with just a dash of cayenne pepper. I want to kill it. I love tarragon. And that I cannot find fresh anywhere. But I have this little backup tarragon thing. Put some of that in there. Bear in mind when you're using dried herbs, you don't need to use as much as you do with fresh herbs. Rosemary, which I am going to be growing soon, but don't right now, but I have this nice dried stuff now. And thyme. So a lot of people don't really think about it. It is nutmeg. I like nutmeg in with lamb. Not much, just a little bit. I don't use this enough to justify keeping it on hand all the time, but I do keep some dry nutmeg here. And we're also going to put just a little bit of salt in here to help that, uh, I guess, emulsify, if you will. Not much. And we're just going to go ahead and grind this down as much as we can because we want to get all of those little, little released flavors. Is. Put that right in there. Now, when I cook the lamb, I'm going to cook it with a blend of 50-50 vegetable oil or canola oil, I forgot which one I have, and olive oil. I'm doing it because I want the olive oil, I want the flavor that olive oil gives. But olive oil is a very low smoke point. And the vegetable or canola oil both have very high smoke points. Use any high temp oil you want. If you have I think grape seeds, one, I think avocado oil is another one. I don't have either one of those. But anything that can help raise the, boil, the smoke point of, of, the, of the, the olive oil, that's what you want to use. The butter is going to go on basically... Probably I'm going to sear it both sides. Then I'm going to put the butter in and just kind of baste it with the butter. So it's not going to be in there maybe five minutes. It's not going to burn. It might brown a little bit, but it won't burn. And I want all of these flavors to infuse in that uh, that lamb after it's kind of seared off. So basically what we got right here is that butter. And I'm going to lay out some parchment. Just let it sit up. Make it nice and hard again. I would just cut it up. Make a little disky disc to put on the top of the lamb. Now, on to the Fiesta de Resistance, the lamb. Ridiculously easy. Just gonna take the lamb pieces. There we go. Just hit like that. All right. Season them with some salt and pepper. Kind of treating it like a steak right now. So I want that salt to give it, it's gonna help it uh, create the crust later. I'm also gonna put a little bit of this, just store-bought uh, Cavadelli's Greek seasoning on it. Not much, just a slight little, just a little bit like that. And of course, some fresh cracked pepper. Doing that to both sides, and then that's gonna go in the fridge and sit. That's it. 
prep is done. We're gonna go throw this into the fridge. Um, may make some mashed potatoes or I may roast some potatoes. I haven't decided yet. Um, but that's the most part of it. And I'll see you guys when we go to cook. You want this to set for at least eight to 10 hours. Um, I mean, you can do it right away, obviously, but eight to 10 hours really lets that seasoning really come through and lets the uh, salt and the pepper help give that effect so you can get that crust on it when you go to cook it later. Anyway, see you in a little bit. Okay, we're back at the pan nice and hot. We've got the 50-50 blend of the canola and the olive oil. And again, this is to bring the, boil the smoking point up on the olive oil because I don't want it to go rancid or get a funky taste to it with the high heat. Put a little bit of that on there. Not a whole lot. I'm not trying to braise the meat. And again, these are lamb shoulder chops. That sound, that's what you want to hear right there. Get that kind of sizzly, sizzly, sizzly. Eh, anything when you're searing something, don't do anything. Let it do its thing. Shit, I forgot the butter. Again, when you're sizzling something, don't do anything to it. Just let it do its thing. It's 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 doing its own thing. It's messing with stuff and moving stuff around. But here's that butter. I'll show you that way this is doing its thing. That butter hardened back up again, and then you got it right there. Just a nice little stick of compound butter. So this one's got ready to cook. Yeah. Stuff like that. It's like I created those things. All right, got a nice crust right there. Flip it back over and get a top of a little bit of butter. And feed, and pop, and I'll put a little bit more in the pan. Now these herbs and that butter are gonna, all that flavors are gonna get into the meat. I'm gonna baste it a little bit too. I'm gonna let this go for roughly about another five minutes like this. I'm gonna drop the heat a little bit. We had it on medium high, we just dropped it down to about medium low. And the cool thing when you do a compound butter like that, save it for all the stuff, man. Put it on some bread, slap it in the oven. Now take this off and let it rest. Cutting board right here. I'll take these off the meat, off the heat. I'm gonna set these over on the side. Now we're just going to slice it.